Hello, citizens of internet, and welcome to the world of tomorrow. You're a bitch, I was gonna make that joke. <laughs> I'm already mad. I had to I had to get it out. Welcome to Futurama. You guys voted for this. You did, and we're like actually honoring it <laughs> this time. To be fair, we are probably gonna play every game that was in that list. We just didn't know where to start. Probably, yeah. <laughs> There's like a list of, here's all the games we want to play. Uh, pick one, please. At least we don't want to, we can't figure it out. <laughs> one thing that is unfortunate with this game that you'll find in the screen here is that there are no subtitles. So. Fuck you guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're going to play Futurama, hit a new game. And something that you'll also notice about this game is we're both kind of not experts, but we know Futurama pretty well. Yeah, Futurama is my favorite television show of all time. It's up there for me as well. So I'm into this. Glagnar's Human Rinds. It's a bunch of bunch of cruncher human. That is the slogan. <laughs> I say that every time I fire this game up and play this first level. That just a one-time gag? The Glagnars? I think so. Yeah, like a cold open one? Yeah. News, everyone. It might have, like, might have, like, had a bag of it in the background or something. Like, Fry's eating a bag of human rinds. Oh, this? No reason. Yeah, this is Futurama uh, video game. One thing I really like about this game is that, um, well, number one, Leela's hair is pink for some reason. But. They say she can't render those colors. <laughs> it can't handle purple. Um, if you actually take all of the cutscenes in this game, it actually makes a full fledged Futurama episode. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, so it's like you're actually playing an episode of the TV show. It's real good. We know what season this is. What season this would be from? I think I used to know this, but I can't remember. Um, fuck, I can't remember it either. Oh, look it up. TV at just the right moment. At the risk of editorializing, this reporter applaud. No, I won't. <laughs> uh, basically, what's going on in this cutscene right here is that we are finding out that Farnsworth sold Planet Express to Mom. And that we gotta give Tress McNeil money. Yeah. He's in fucking everything. <laughs> Whoa. I just noticed that real quick. Uh, the out, like, color of the outline for the TV thing, it changed color for a split second. Did it really? Yeah, uh, it's like, it's like it's pinkish now. It went to like gray. For just half a second. Okay, okay. In hindsight, maybe yeah, her hair is really wrong, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's very pink. Well, the Earth isn't safe anymore. This game's bad. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Let's play the Xbox version. This game is inaccurate. I shall contact Vivendi Universal and let them know of their misdeeds. Isn't Vivendi? Don't didn't they do? I feel like they did some crash stuff. Who could have done such a thing? Um, maybe. I know, like, Traveler's Tales did, like, Crash 4. But, um, I know Vivendi did, like, the Simpsons games. Like, Hit and Run and Road Rash and those. Vivendi Games did Crash to Insanity. I just found it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no way. sounded real familiar. I gotta get the hard-hitting question out of the way. Favorite episode? Oh. And I um, will count the movies as episode. Okay. This will finance my search well, like, there's a lot of them to, to go off of and choose from. Of course, I, of course, I love the comedy episodes, but I really, really love the sentimental episodes. Yeah, like, like uh, Luck of the Fryrish is a really good one. That's such a good episode. I really like that one. I also like the one where um, Leela needs to join the army. So she. Be she, Lemon? 
Yeah, so she becomes Lee Lemon. That's one of my favorites. That not war as heck? I think so, yeah. I think that's what that's called. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up this hammer real quick. Obviously, season thirteen, season three, episode fourteen, bending in the wind. Bending in the wind is great. I love that episode. That's such a good one. Up, oh, game over. We beat the game. Wonderful. <laughs> Denied everybody. What happened? You were crushed under two tons of debris. And you died. <laughs> yeah, there are so many good episodes. Like, and like the episode where Bender becomes like a a pharaoh. Oh, the his big, his big statue goes, Remember me! That is a good one. Or when Bender becomes like a, a god when he's floating through space. That's a great episode. I love that one a lot. Do you have a least favorite? If I were to pick, it would. Hmm. Like it, I don't know, like a specific one, but it might end up being like. One of the movies. Yeah, I could see that. So I do feel like the movies had some moments where they were like, uh, I don't really want to say like phoning it in or like fans or like relying on fan servicey stuff, but. Well, that first one was just fan service, the, the movie. Yeah, pretty much. That might be one of my favorite ones, though. The first movie? Yeah, Bender's Big Score. Yeah. That one was pretty good. Hey, look, there's her deady dead corpse. Wonderful. Smashed by an anvil. I would say Bender's Game is probably my least favorite movie. Oh, yeah, the D&D one. Yeah, and it's not like there's anything wrong with it. I just, I'm not a big D&D &D fan. Well, I'm snooping in lockers. Stealing money from... From Bender, almost said from Hermes. Hey, why would I'm you steal from? <clears throat> why would you do that? Why would I steal money from Hermes? Yes, he has plenty. He's a bureaucrat. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna apologize off of it. just like right up hand, up hand, up front. If there's a lot of controller sounds during this series, because, oops, oh get out of there, Fry. Uh, because um, my original, like, official Sony PS2 controller is it stopped working. Because I plugged it in to test this game out. Okay, there we go. Fuck, it took a long time to break. And, um, like, it just kept, like, ghosting. Like, on the menu, it kept freaking out. So I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this controller? And... I look at it, the actual connector that goes into the console, and like one of the pins inside of it is missing. Right. So I'm like, yeah, I guess I can't use this controller anymore. Good thing I still have this, you know, awful, cheap feeling third party one just hiding in a drawer. <laughs> I like when when I was testing it, playing it on this controller. I was honestly thinking for a second of just going out and buying a new PS2 controller. How do you feel about this cell shading? That's okay. I mean, I know they're trying to recreate the feel of the TV show, which is hard to do when you go into 3D. Yeah, this is probably as close as you could get, though, so that's pretty... that's alright. It was the same thing with the Simpsons games. Yeah, but those they... looked bad. <laughs> Well, the GTA clone one didn't look too bad. Hit and run? Yeah. That game was fun. That game is fun. Don't you still have that game? Nope. Not no more. God damn it. So we can't continue the, the Matt Greening saga. Dude, get Dude. Simpsons Wrestling! <laughs> I already played that game. The game is poop. It's Simpsons Skateboarding! We already played that game once. Yes, we did. I still have it, because I'm a man. Could always just go get The Simpsons, the movie, the game, on the 360. Or PlayStation 3. Why would I break out my 360 when I have my PlayStation 3 still plugged in? Actually, I, I unplugged my 360 also. It's your favorite console. 
I mean, it's a good console. I just, I had to maneuver some things around in here. So, I uh, needed an extra outlet, and just had to say bye-bye to the 360 for now. Forever. Throw it away. Uh, it'll be back if I ever feel like playing Lost Odyssey, or 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Do I have all the parts that I need? I think I do. Yeah! I just kind of absentmindedly went through that whole sequence. I've done it so many times. Oh no. Dark Manor engine's not working. Either is the camera, because Fry's looking at a window with his hammer. Oh, did Skype freeze my webcam again? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Like Fry just looking out a window, out the thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. I refreshed it. Got a gun. This is a strange turn of events. Is it weird to you that this show is still so beloved? Uh, not really. It was... Did you see the big thing about it? Netflix? Yeah, didn't Netflix took it off, didn't they? They're, they were going to, but I guess it's just season six. Hmm. For whatever reason. So it's just like the good seasons and then the movies are still going to be on there. Hmm. But then the one, one season that Comedy Central did isn't going to be on there anymore or some shit. That's weird. It really doesn't hurt my feelings too much, though, because I think I like the Fox version of it a little more than the Comedy Central version. Yeah, like those Comedy Central episodes, I said some of them weren't too great. Yeah, like, I feel like if there was a least favorite episode of mine, it was somewhere in there. Yeah, same here. And, like, I pictured in my head they were, like, in a tavern looking for like a monster mm. but I don't remember anything else about the episode like it feels like they went to Scotland or something like that and went to <laughs> this tavern and they were drinking because they were looking for a monster but that's all I remember uh, come on Fry break it come on <laughs> Jesus Fry break the crate there we go. He's not very smart, leave him alone. I heard drinking makes you stupid. No, I'm... doesn't. <laughs> this is just gonna be us quoting the show forever now, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. One thing about this game, I don't think I've ever played it far enough to get to the parts where you play as, like, Bender or Leela. No, I don't think we ever. I don't think I have either because I have it for Xbox, so. Give me some of that sewer slurm. You know how you like it. 